So we're going to solve the Blasius equation. So let me just uh, remind you a little bit about what the Blasius equation was about. So we defined uh, we defined a, a the streamline function the streamline function psi, and we derived the equation according to uh, an, we derived a non-dimensional version of the equations that solves for phi of phi, and that is uh, basically we non-dimensionalize the streamline function into f, and we also non-dimensionalized the y coordinate into a non-dimensional version eta. After this non-dimensionalization, the equation becomes the third order derivative of f plus f times f second order derivative equal to zero. Right, we remember that, right? And what are the boundary conditions we supplied? Zero, zero f of 0 equal to 0. So that's almost an arbitrary choice, right? We just define the streamline function to be 0, and uh, up to a constant value, the streamline function does not affect the flow field at all. All right, so that's just an arbitrary choice to anchor the streamline function. What else? F prime of 0, f prime of zero equal to 0. What is the physical meaning of that? No slip. no slip, yes. The velocity is equal to zero. So f prime in this case is the y directional derivative of the streamline function which corresponds to which velocity? X velocity, right. So y derivative of streamline function is x derivative. And what else? How many boundary conditions do we need for this third order differential equation? Three, right? So we need one more. Prime f prime of infinity is equal to, oh, this in this one. case, 1, right? So what is the physical meaning of that? X direction of velocity at very far away from the wall is equal to the given ue, that's what we called, right? Mm 